Right now, a West Pullman family heartbroken. This little boy killed in a fire this afternoon. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemon, you know, live outside the home. Suzanne, you spoke to the toddler's family. Brad, they told me the child's mother just bought this house and they recently moved in. Now I want to show you something. Take a look up here. What you're taking a look at right there is the second floor window of the home. It's boarded up now. We're told this is where the fire started in a bedroom and that's where the two year old was found. He was just as joyful, anticipating Christmas. You know, and I just seen him yesterday. I seen him Sunday. Andre Barker remembers the last time he saw his two year old nephew, Ace Jackson. Jackson was in this upstairs bedroom where a fire started this morning. Barker consoles his wife. She tried to rescue Jackson from the burning bedroom. So did his mother. She suffered burns to her feet. The doorway was blocked by fire. When firefighters entered the bedroom, they found the child in a corner of the room. He was in full cardiac arrest. Paramedics worked on him along with doctors in the ER. Very loving child. Good, good kid, too. We had big expectations for him. This is just unbelievable. Six weeks ago, the family buried Jackson's great grandmother. She died from COVID-19. This is going to be tough on us. This is going to be tough, but we're a strong family. Right now, investigators are looking at a space heater and extension cord as the possible cause of the fire. There were smoke detectors in the home, but the batteries in them had expired. Firefighters are going to be back here in the neighborhood at 10 o'clock in the morning. They're going to be going door to door every single home here on the block. They want to make sure that everyone has working smoke detectors. They say they're even going to install them for those who need that. Ace would have turned three next month. In West Pullman, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News.